Okay, uh, I'm going to begin a series here on oil furnaces. And uh, this one's about a kind of a step by step troubleshooting of these furnaces. And I'll go through each, uh, each problem and try to explain what could be the issues. Uh, most of the information that's in this I have covered on standalone videos. But I kind of thought I should put something together uh, that was just sort of step by step. And uh, so here we go. Okay, first thing you're going to go to your thermostat, make sure it's in the heat mode, and whatever lever, lever or whatever you have is turned all the way up. Okay, if that's true, then you can proceed to the appliance. Okay, now I'm done at the furnace, I've taken the front covers off. Nothing is happening. No fan, no burner, nothing. Okay, probably the first thing I'm going to do down here is there should be a reset button and there's various types of CAD cell relays uh, and uh, there will be buttons on, on them somewhere. You push it down, let it back up. Okay. Uh, nothing happens okay do I even have power to this thing okay in very old furnaces you might see a switch like this silly thing here that's probably a manual fan switch it's usually mounted on the furnace someplace uh, and you can turn it up and see if the fan will come on you can also do this at the thermostat with a fan switch that's on the thermostat if it has, if your system has cooling, it will have a uh, fan switch on the thermostat. If you turn that on, the fan comes on, then you know you have power to the furnace. Okay. We're, as far as we can tell, we have power to the furnace. I've got a fan switch to come on. The breaker came on. You know, the breaker was on. Something like that. So. When I originally pushed this button, did anything happen at all? If you heard nothing at all, if the motor didn't try to start or anything like that, then you probably have a motor that's out on the internal overload. You see that little button? That's a manual reset. If for some reason the motor did not come on, bad bearings, uh, start circuit, something like that, then that will pop out. So when you press it, it should click. If it does click, then you can attempt to start it again. The symptoms of this uh, are going to be nothing at all is happening, and then when I press it back in and then press the reset button on the CAD cell relay, uh, the unit will either start or attempt to start. Okay, you can hear the motor try to start and the button pops out. So we've got something that's locked up in there. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do, there's a couple of screws up here, I'm going to remove those, open up the transformer. You can see, here's my blower in here. And I'm going to flip this. Now, it doesn't turn real free, but it's not supposed to because it's hooked up to the pump here, and the pump does some drag. But it should move fairly easily. If it does move fairly easily and it still won't start, you got a motor problem. Uh, I would hit the side of the motor with a hammer uh, lightly. Sometimes that'll get it started. That does not mean you have been a magical fix man. It means you need a new motor. Okay, that's the end of your troubleshoot at that point. You got to pull it out, put a new motor in. Okay, but let's. Okay, let's say it moves very stiffly. Like I have to actually pry to get this thing to turn. Okay, or it won't turn up. Okay, at that point, I either have a pump problem. Or I got a bearing problem in the motor. 
Okay, here I've got the uh, burner out. Now normally you would not take the burner out uh, if there's room enough to get the motor out. Uh, I don't recommend you take these things off unless you absolutely have to. A couple of screws here and you'll have to disconnect this wire. Uh, okay, now it's out. Now I can see, you know, it's not real free, but it's okay. It probably probably is wearing the bearings out in the silly thing, but that's not what caused this thing to stop. I would go ahead and put power to these two terminals, and if it starts, then we know the issue's not there. It's not in the motor. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to turn this. Now if this turns really hard, I mean this one's not broke, but if this turns really hard or is just locked up, your pump's toast. And so you're going to have to get a new pump. So that tells you about the motor and the pump.